and uh, we will then come up with the final plan and once um, once approved by the Planning Commission and the board it will be adopted so uh, the last update to the plan was in January of 2008 some of the reasons for doing a, a frequent update is for uh, any of the changes that happen within a community population, uh, residential and commercial. Again, the grant eligibility, a lot of the times grants want to know what's in your comprehensive plan. The more community input we get, the better. Uh, and again, it helps with the future zoning and development. I mean, we have a lot okay. of open space. You got cornfields and cornfields and cornfields and cornfields. And I don't know that that is a, I don't know that that's a liability. Uh, it, it certainly, I think it could be an opportunity because I mean, it's open space and it could be uh, available for development. It's just a matter of how the development gets yeah, planned for it. Yeah. Having parks and bike trails, uh, bike trail to Angleman <coughs> Farm, um, more non motorized areas, so walking through the community, bicycling, um, infrastructure, so we need better roads or at least roads to reduce the the traffic congestion, I'm guessing. Um, services, I think utilities was mentioned somewhere. And keep promoting the commercial growth of the community, the tax base, so that we have stable financing for the village and the schools. These are liabilities. There are some also school system funding seems to be an issue. Um, someone noted the state budget is part of that problem, which we all know. Um, and then some different things about taxes and home rule. No home rule, meaning it's a liability that we're not home rule. All right, in terms of assets, looks like the access to a lot of things. So Shiloh seems to be very centrally located along um, a lot of things. So lots of retail options, housing. Um, now you said uh, school funding was an issue, but we have good schools as an asset. So that's interesting. And then dreams, which is always my favorite one. Center for the community, so kind of an identity, I'm guessing. Is that what's missing in Shiloh? Is and I noticed that one of your dreams was to bring a recreational youth center mm -hmm. to Shiloh. What, why was that? Well, it's because, you know, I have uh, teenage children. And besides going to the parks and, uh, you know, playing basketball or tennis or things like that, I believe that the children, the youth need more things to do to keep them near the community and not go outside of the community. And uh, I think that'll be very important for our kids. You know, we can, um, you know, just rally around our children more and also support the community. Keep them close to home. Yep, keep them close to home. I thought it was very informative. Uh, you know, I think uh, more people should be involved and come in and put their input on the community and what they would like to see about the community and, you know, get to know some of your neighbors and, you know, people in the community. I think